Okay, James P. Madonna here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Rule 46, South of Brooklyn, New Jersey. Here we got succulent. No, these covers are a pain in the ass. Hold on. Succulent duck. Let's see what they left me with here. Any meat or all bones? And, well. I want to give a shout out, of course, to my, my close buddy and partner, business partner in our organization. Uh, the Commodore Jeff Sambello, and I want to give all sorts of shout out to the Exorcist Bishop Brian from the uh, Travel Channel show Ghost Adventures. Um, I'm not getting too lucky with the duck here, to be honest with you. It, it must have taken the most succulent, meaty pieces and left me with all the fat in the skin. So, therefore, Therefore, I am not going to pursue this adventure anymore. I got a little bit of uh, surf, and now I'm going to get some turf. These noodles are always pretty good, but you know what? I usually get the noodles during the uh, Mongolian barbecue. Okay, here we go. Egg drop soup. Uh, Jeff Zambello, how far the original recipe, how, how high do they uh, drop the eggs from the Great Wall of China? Here we have crab soup, which I will have later. Chicken noodle. Nah, that's for peasants. Peasant food. Peasants. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is good. Uh, mixed seafood soup. Vegetable soup. Nah, peasant. Peasant food. Hot and sour soup is excellent if you have a cold and congestion. All right. Okay. Just got some steamed dumplings here. Uh, the dipping sauce. Here we have uh, seafood brown rice with shrimp. All right. Seafood brown rice with shrimp. Actually, this is a nice addition. It's sort of like a healthy version of a uh, paella. I might just get some of that. Where the sushi section is loaded, but no, no hardcore sushi this time. All you know, California roll stuff. You know. So anyway, there he is, the king of all Mongolian barbecue. Oh, Jeff Sambello, look what we have here, breast o, breast o lamb. We got succulent codfish filet, and we got the flounder wrapped around shrimp, stuffed clams. Oh, look at this, look at that. Oh, but you know what I'm gonna go for, man? I'm gonna go for this thick, thick succulent, look at that. Todd Scribe Filet. Beautiful. Look at look at this. Only at the Royal Hibachi Grill, Route 46 West, South of Brook, New Jersey. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Exorcist Bishop Brian and Jeff Zambello. Look at that. Succulent Cod. Right, right from J Davy Jones's locker. All right. Give a shout out to both the Exorcist Bishop from the Travel Channel Ghost Adventures. And he, he is a culinary expert, and so is Jeff Zambello, my partner. All right, and when you're gonna get some breast of lamb, the sacrificial lamb. All right, I'm gonna have to put it on top of the bony duck, right? I got no choice. Okay. Uh, breast, get it. Succulent breast o' lamb. There's no sham. You will not get flim flam by this lamb. You will not get flim flam by the lamb. I'm telling you right now. And I got the best. I got one of the best surf and turfs I've ever had here. One of. One. Look at that. Yeah, the, the king of all Mongolian barbecue has got vapor action going on there. I will be back to give him a huge platter. Last time I got two platters made. 
He didn't get too upset though. All right. It's a beautiful codfish for you. Look at this. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, now, what was I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna walk around. That's what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do here. Uh, I don't eat, I don't choose any food that I normally see during the week or at home. Here's the Chinese delights. You know, either sesame chicken or General Tzu's chicken. This is General Tzu. Every time I ask the people at the Chinese takeout who is General Tzu, who is General Chen, they have no idea. This is sesame chicken. I mean, for all I know, the generals probably did not even exist. Just like uh, the Quaker Oats man and uh, Uncle Ben's Rice or Betty Crocker, who, who knows? Mama Celeste Pizza. Maybe these people never exist. They're, they're uh, uh, what do you call them? They're um, fictitious. That's the word I'm looking for. Wow, the dessert right now is kind of wiped out, but it's nobody's fault. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for any anything, any specialty. Some people. No, no. Very light on the seafood. The seafood salad is very light on the fish. Looks like it's mostly peppers and onions, so I will not get it. But, looks like I'm gonna have to get limes because it seems to be a lack of lemons. Uh oh, the kids are, are jumping in the ice cream, letting all the refrigeration out, letting all the uh, the freezer out, letting all the freezer, making the ice cream soft. Look at that. We got roast duck. We got succulent breasts of lamb, and also equally succulent codfish fillet. Thick codfish fillet. I'm in no mood for any nonsense, Jeff Zambello. I'm telling you right now. Um, so someone here pisses me off because she very she's very moody and she sometimes is very rude. I I like to give her the back of my hand. You know what I mean? All right. Since there's no lemons, I'm going to have to use this color for limes because the 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 lime green goes better with beige. The lime green goes better with. Hello. Hi. Okay. Following this guy here. See? I don't know what it is, but there's a problem with the lemon crop or something. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to squeeze this on fish. Although I could because that's what they do when they make seafood ceviche which is a Peruvian specialty. But uh, I'd rather have lemon on fish, but I'm gonna squeeze this in my, it's gonna have to be lime water instead of lemon water. All right, so. Okay, that should do it, see? The, the color of the lime green goes better with this beige ball. All right, now, I did forget one thing. I did forget one thing. I'm going to give the back of my hand to a lot of people today. The party room is open. The beautiful lamps from Turkey are on. Okay. Gorgeous lamps imported from Turkey. Look at that. They're all on. Beautiful lamps. The party room is open. I would turn this into a hookah lounge with belly dancers. To be honest with you, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Okay, now I return to my seat. And I start digging in. But before I do so, see, I didn't have room for everything. There's a lot of good stuff here this Friday. I got to get a knife. I have to get a steak knife, Jeff Zambello. All right. A steak knife. All right. The kids are gone. Let me see what they did. Not bad. Got the chocolate, strawberry, chocolate chip mint. God knows what that is. Where did that come from? Uh, 
Chernobyl or something? Or uh, Fukushima? Look at that fluorescent color. What the hell is that? Okay, just another shot of the uh, party room at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Room 46 West, Soderbrook, New Jersey. The Turkish lamps are on. This is round two. Okay, what am I going to have here? Well, you know what? I better take advantage of this codfish because they, special items like this, they only put one big tray out. For lunch or dinner lunch or dinner so I'm not sure if it's coming out again so I better take advantage of this look at that beautiful flaky thick scrod cod filet of scrod cod here on a lovely Friday afternoon and uh, at the beginning of February, I would say. And um, thankfully, today, this during the day, there's no wind chill factor because the uh, United States, uh, at least in the northern section, is in a dangerously cold deep freeze, especially like the northern states, Minnesota, Michigan, and of course the city of Chicago, right? And um, here in the Northeast, where I am, in uh, New Jersey, definitely dangerously cold. It's warm here in the buffet. All right. Um, I guess I can get some. Are uh, oh, they using the the New Zealand green lip mussel this time? You get a couple females here. Females are the pink ones. The males are the uh, grayish ones. See? Got that? All right. The calamari looks a little rubbery. I think it's been in here too long. Uh, let me get some more. They're definitely pretty big in size. Very good for osteoarthritis and uh, also very extremely high in omega-3 fats. Right. So, and now we got surf and surf. Surf and surf. There's the Mongolian barbecue. The vapors of what? Oh, it's surf. I just recognized it. <laughs> the Friday girl. <laughs> I won't put her on YouTube because, you know, she's, yeah, she's embarrassed and she's young and, you know. But anyway, I call it a Friday girl. <laughs> An egg? What is this, uh, Desayuno uh, Mongolian barbecue? Somebody's going to be in egg ecstasy. <laughs> Someone's going to be in ecstasy. My mind's coming up later, though. Right now, I got this. Bacalao, codfish. And, uh, gigantic muscles. Look at that. You know what I said? This is interesting. Jeff Zambello and uh, Exorcist Bishop Brian from the Travel Channel. I chat with him, the guy that's on TV, on Twitter. Oh, he cracked the yoke. He's not yoking around either. Look at that. Somebody wants scrambled eggs on noodles? What the hell kind of a recipe is that? Scrambled eggs. Oh, it's, a, it's an omelet. It's a noodle omelet on the Mongolian barbecue. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that action. Look at that action. Oh my God. All right, let me go back to what I was doing. Commodore Jeff Sambello. Here we got the uh, marinated uh, roasted uh, eggplant. All right. All 
Okay, the marinated roasted eggplant here at the uh, Royal Abaji Buffet. And then uh, I will show you. Oh, they loaded up the dessert section. Bless their hearts. Wow, look at that chocolate cake. How about that? Look at it. Dark chocolate cake. That's some apple pie. And fresh fruit. Look at that. All right. Here we got the hard ice cream, ice cream station again. All right. Uh, succulent fresh codfish, thick codfish fillet, and New Zealand green lip mussels. And I got my lime water there. Okay. Just put out the lobster. Langosta, there you go. Um, and snow crab. Wait here. This is hot salad. Okay. Oh no, not snow crab. Um, uh, blue claw. Blue claw crab soup. Okay, I'm gonna get some crab soup. Crab soup. Alright people, always make sure you stir the bottom before you get any soup. Because otherwise you're gonna get you're not going to get uh, all the, the good parts. There you go. You know what to do. Always stir the very bottom. When you get soup in a restaurant, let's say Friendly's, which has good New England clam chowder, make sure they stir the bottom of the pot. But of course, crab soup. You want that, mate? Oh, I'll get it out of your way. Hold on. Crab soup. All right. Now. Uh, I'm going to have it right now in a matching bowl. Oh, the codfish. Excellent. The codfish fillet. What, the, 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 the filet? Squad cod filet? Oh, it's excellent. I had it when it first came out. It was like, it must have been three inches thick. Yeah, that's like, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, they brought the real hardcore sushi out. Look at that. I uh, got unagi, squid, salmon, and um, tuna. Sometimes the white tuna comes out, which is very good. All right. Very good, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, a lot of scrod cods I've had are thin, but that, this, that, that was thick. Like this. Thick. Arr. I should give a toilet plunging seminar. i just given him some tips on how to unclog a drain. Crab soup. Oh, crab soup in a color coordinated bowl. Maybe you should try an eggplant, I don't know. Eh, what the heck. I'll try one. I've had them before. Hey, look what just came out. Tre Leche. A Latino dessert specialty. Tre Leche cake. Look at that. Let me get one of these. You're gonna you're gonna own the Patterson Falls. You're gonna own the whole historic Patterson. So I, I'll tell them that. Oh, hi, Mayor. Listen, you gotta get a tall top hat. You know. Oh, are you really the mayor? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm the mayor of Patterson. No, and then you and you're working yeah. here on the side. Yeah, that that means about. Patterson don't pay you much. Yeah. Get it? I want to wear a real tall top hat like Abe Lincoln, just to make everybody, the media, talk. You know? Yeah, yeah. They'll know right away who I am. I'm the Monopoly man. Yeah. Some marinated eggplant. Sorry for the uh, the chatter, but that was the owner. He is thinking of uh, purchasing uh, some land, or not purchasing, but opening up a, a fine restaurant facing the uh, uh, Patterson Falls, which is uh, America's newest national park in historic Patterson, New Jersey, my hometown, and the also the hometown of the Samuel Colt which uh, if you go to um, the historic museum in Patterson and say hello to the curator Giacomo Di Stefano you will see the nation's authentic uh, cult firearms exhibit also the Lou Costello exhibit is there amongst many other things it's a wonderful place to visit historic Patterson, New Jersey, giving a shout out to Giacomo Di Stefano, the museum, and America's newest national park. Uh, it's definitely worth visiting. It is easy to get to by way of Route 46 or Route 80. It is not difficult to get to, and uh, it is very close to Interstate Route 80. Um, you just have to get uh, if you're if you're going west on Route 80, get on. Um, I believe it's uh, Route 19 uh, South. You make a U-turn on Valley Road, get back onto Route 19 North, get off at of Grand Avenue, make a quick. Um, uh, left on, at the bottom of the hill Grand Avenue make another quick left on Spruce Street and you're right in the heart of a historic Patterson where you can visit America's newest national park the Great Falls as well as the historic Patterson Museum um, of course if you're coming eastbound you do the opposite in terms of uh, uh, Route 19, uh, and that's about it. Okay, here's my crab soup here in a color coordinated bowl at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West Soderbrook, New Jersey. This has to be the best crab soup that I've ever had in my life, honestly. It's wonderful, it's a wonderful crab soup. The broth of the sea, Supa de Mar. I mean, Fruta de Mar, I'm sorry. Fruta de Mar. The broth of the sea is really extra tasty. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little sashimi here. Um, I got, um, I have two. I uh, have two pieces of unagi, okay, which is roasted eel, unagi. And then I'm going to have some um, tuna, some bluefin tuna. Okay. I'm not going to have too much because I'm pretty full from what I ate before. I am really full. We get like, uh, get some raw salmon filet, rich in omega-3 fats. Okay. Get some uh, wasabi. Oh. 
be the king of sushi also. That's a bit. There we go. Eel sauce. Eel sauce for the unagi. For the unagi. All right. Well, I know there's eel sauce on there. I'll put a little more. what I do. First I put a sriracha. 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 Da, 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 da. sriracha. Okay. Soy sauce. I'm gonna do is mix the unagi, not the unagi, what the hell am I saying? I'm gonna mix the wasabi in the soy sauce with the uh, sriracha. All right. to my table. Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, back at my table. I put the wasabi in the soy sauce and sriracha and I'm mixing it up. I'm at the Royal Hibachi Buffet Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions as seen on the web. Okay. I was just talking to my protege, the king of creativity, performing artists can create. I was just making plans with him for tomorrow night because we are going to, of course, God willing and weather willing, uh, Club Cubanel in the Holiday Inn, Route 46 West, Toto in New Jersey where is where he uh, rehearses and trains his official training ground anyway I digress so anyway I mix it all up really good and then of course I put extra eel sauce on the unagi right? and um, I'm going to dip the salmon and tuna sashimis into the uh, the soy sauce wasabi and sriracha hot sauce Okay, and uh, I know I should be using chopsticks, but what can you do? Dip that right in here. One side, the other side, right? Dip it in, and then I'll eat it. Mmm. Excellent. Okay, now it's time for ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna get some ice cream and I think I'm gonna select chocolate. Commodore Jeff Zambello and Exorcist Bishop Brian from the Travel Channel's The Ghost Adventures. The heavy artillery himself, Exorcist Bishop Brian. With Jeff Zambello, my partner. I will get some uh, ice cream. Chocolate. Wouldn't it be funny if they, um, instead, of jur instead of jury duty, if they um, they had um, young, attractive women show up to be to be milked for um, non-GMO, raw, organic mother's milk for for to be used in um, the dairy industry for making ice cream? Wouldn't that be Wouldn't that be interesting? Raw, organic, non-GMO mother's milk. Okay, I think that'll be splendid. What do you think? I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, spill the ice cream, right? Okay, 
Okay, here we go. There's the place. Sushi bar, Mongolian barbecue, ice cream station, Royal Hibachi. <coughs> Buffet, Satterbrook, New Jersey. There's my chocolate ice cream. Okay, chocolate ice cream. I know I I have piled it much higher in the future. I mean in the future. Yes, I will pile it much higher in the future, but in the past, I have piled a much higher mountain than this. This is not even a mountain. I'm just, you know, going easy on my stomach because I did eat a lot today. I gorged myself like Homer Simpson. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.